To add a webcam to OBS Studio, it's quite simple. Go down to the Sources section right down here and you'll see that plus button. You're going to click that and you're going to add a webcam that you already have plugged in to your computer into one of the USB jacks. Hit the plus button then go to Video Capture Device. Once this menu pulls up, I recommend naming it whatever your camera is actually called. In this case, I'm going to add two different cameras today. The Logitech Brio is the first one. And then I'll also add a Logitech C920, two recommended cameras. Link in the description below to both of them if you want to check them out. They're the best two webcams on the market. The Logitech Brio is our first one. And as you can see, there's a ton of complicated options that pop up when you add a webcam. Let me break it down really simple for the ones that actually matter. Click this drop down bar to find your particular device. Then once you click it, you may or may not see a signal on the screen. If you don't, make sure that you select device default. That can really help. And you can also deactivate the source and reactivate the source to help have the source pop up. Once you've done that, what you can do is select a custom resolution for that particular device depending on what its capabilities are. For example, this Logitech Brio is capable of going all the way up to 4K resolution if I want. So I'll select that super high resolution in the resolution bar and boom, there's a 4K signal coming into OBS Studio. When you select custom, it will allow you to select whatever resolutions are currently available for that device. You can manually select the FPS, which is the frame rate of the camera. I recommend matching whatever your output frame rate is for your project, but you can go up to whatever the maximum is for that camera. And I recommend leaving all of the other settings that are down here completely just on default what they normally come up as. You don't really need to do any of these, just leave all of those alone. In this basic tutorial, there's no reason to mess with any of those settings. Once you have set up your camera here, then you hit OK. And as you can see, my camera is not full screen. It's not where I want it to be. So to fix this issue, you can right click either right here under sources on that device, or you can right click on the preview pane. You're going to go to transform and you're going to scroll down to fit to screen and boom, there it is. It's full screen for me now. Cool. That's how to add a 4k webcam to OBS. Let me add a 1080p webcam right now to OBS to show you a different application. All right, you're going to hit the plus button, remember? Then you're going to go to video capture device. And this is also to show you that you can add multiple cameras at the same time, especially it's easy if there are different models of camera. It gets a little bit more complicated if they're the exact same camera. This one's a Logitech C920. Then remember what we talked about earlier. If you want to select your device, you're going to go to the drop down menu right here and you pick the different device. So in this case, it will be the C920. There it is. Now, as you can see by default, a lot of the times the cameras are going to be a four by three resolution. It won't even be widescreen. So I almost always recommend going custom here with your resolution and FPS type. Drop down, custom. And in this case, it's a 1080p webcam. It may let me go above that. I don't want to go above that. I'm going to go 1080p by going 1920 by 1080. And here it is. Here's the webcam right in front of me. There it is. And it's one of the most affordable webcams on the market, by the way, with this level of quality. And then for FPS, we're going to match the output FPS. If you want a good default FPS for most cameras, 30 is a good default. If you want to manually select what your frame rate is, then hit OK. And there's the Logitech C920. Notice how I don't need to right click and transform and fit to screen. It automatically fits the size of my uh, panel here, the size of my project, because my project is a 1080p project. But remember that transform menu is your friend. Right click, transform, and fit to screen can really help you get that webcam full screen uh, if it's way out of whack or you move it off the screen or you need to fix it back to a de good default to position. Both of these webcams are in the description below, the Logitech Brio being the best webcam on the market, in my opinion. And if you'd want a less costly option, the Logitech C920 I've had for the last nine years is a like less expensive option. Link in the description below. There is price gouging right now going on on both of these webcam products because they're in such high demand. So do not pay 
For a Logitech C920, more than $100. That is a complete ripoff. And for the Logitech Brio, do not pay more than $250, certainly not $300 for this webcam. Try to keep it around $200. These are in such high demand because they are the best webcams in the world that uh, price gougers, unfortunately, are going to town. Uh, taking advantage of customers. And if you'd like me to help you with your setup at home, head over to awalldigital.com, link in the description below, and you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one video coaching call with me. I can walk you through all of your technology challenges and solutions. You just pick your day, you pick your time, you enter your information, and boom, I'm on a video call with you, helping you run your home studio, become a success in online broadcasting.